Hey everyone, this is Adam Hochstetter doing another video for Lexicon Pro focusing on the PCM92 hardware reverb unit. Uh, if you've checked out my other videos, you probably noticed that some are also about this reverb unit, but this video will specifically be going through several different presets uh, with the same simple piano piece being played live in real time. Now, there are over like 1,200 presets in the unit, so you'll have to go buy your own if you want to check out every single one. I'm just going to go through a few of my favorite hall presets in this video. So, it should give you a better idea of how the different sizes of the halls work with a solo piano track. If you're not looking for how a piano sounds through this unit, uh, go ahead and check out my other videos for full orchestra and small ensemble music being run through the PCM92. Uh, as with all of my other demo videos, check the links in the description to jump from one, in this case, one room to the other if you'd like to compare the presets uh, in a different order quickly. Uh, or if you just want to hear how the room sounds again without having to scroll and find the start point, you can uh, use those links. So let's go ahead and get started with the piano completely dry. This is the Cine Samples Piano in Blue, if you're curious. Uh, I really like this piano, it's kind of my default. Um, and I'm only using the close mics uh, active, not the surround of the room. And then I'm also not uh, adding any additional reverb. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Cool. So now that you've heard the piece completely dry, let's check out some of the presets. I'll try to go from smallest room to largest room. Again, these are just some of my favorites. There are plenty more to check out when you pick one up for yourself. So um, the small narrow hall is going to be first up, and it's got a reverb time of 1.17 seconds. Alright, there aren't a ton of small halls and the changes are really subtle, um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you uh, scroll through those yourself when you pick one up. Um, I'm going to move on to something that's a little more obvious of a change, uh, so we're going to go to the medium sized halls. Uh, we'll try the default the medium hall, preset 0, and it's got a reverb time of 1.69 seconds. Alright, uh, next let's do the medium deep hall. Uh, this one has a reverb time of 1.33 seconds, so even though it's deeper it has a, a shorter reverb time.
Okay, so let's go ahead and do one more medium haul. Let's try the gold haul preset. Uh, this has a reverb time of 1.93 seconds. Let's take a listen here. Cool. Uh, so something a bit larger. Let's try the concert hall with a reverb time of 2.17 seconds. Alrighty, hopefully you're not sick of the piece yet. Sorry, it's it's kind of hard. You gotta pick something that's hopefully not too long and not too monotonous. But uh, we got three left, so uh, bear with me if you want to check out these larger halls next. Uh, so you can see the changes between these presets aren't crazy drastic. But if you were to go back and listen to the small narrow hall versus the last concert hall that you just heard, um, you'll hear a difference for sure, or you should hear a difference hopefully. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the reverb that I like, the, well it's the one I use the most, it's the large hall preset. Uh, it's got a reverb time of 2.79 seconds and this is just kind of my default where I start um, and then I'll, then I'll either cut back depending on my orchestration and the type of piece, I'll either increase it or decrease it, but this is, this is a good starting point so go ahead and take a listen. Oh, I, I really love that preset. It, it sounds great on everything I do, it seems. Um, every instrument, that I, at least every dry instrument library, when it, you know, it's a little bit wet for those that are recorded in a room, so I like to stick with dry samples as much as I can. Let's move to the big boys. Um, the ginormous hall, let's see, uh, which is a very large hall, but it's still within the boundaries of what's actually a real space. It's not like a crazy nine second reverb cave that would have, you know, that would never have a piano sitting in it. I mean, it'd be cool if it did, but these in the lexicon are more meant to model real halls. And if you want to increase the reverb time, you, you certainly can to create that sort of really atmospheric effect. But for now, I'm going to stick to just the presets without altering them. Uh, the ginormous hall has a reverb time of 3.75 seconds. Let's, uh, let's take a listen.
Alrighty, and last but not least, it's uh, this is probably my second favorite preset. It's the Cathedral 1. It has a reverb time of 3.69 seconds. Uh, a tiny bit shorter than the Ginormous Hall, but for me, the decay is much smoother and more natural sounding, and there's a lot less reflection. So I prefer that on solo piano. Take a listen, and then if you want to, you can go back to the Ginormous Hall and see what I'm talking about with that reflection versus, you know, completely smooth decay. Alright, so there you have it. Eight presets in the Hall category in Lexicon's PCM92. Again, there's a bunch of categories. There's, you know, halls, plates, room, chambers, effects. I just, there's no time to go through all that stuff. So hopefully, you know, the Hall category is, is at least summed up a little bit in this video. Um, again, check out the links in the description if there's any preset you want to go listen to again. Please feel free to send me suggestions if there's something you'd like to hear uh, going through this reverb unit other than piano. Again, I have some other videos, but if you're like, man, I'd really love to hear what acoustic guitar sounds like, I can try to make that happen. I'm not a very good guitar player, but we'll see what I can do. So maybe not that one. Um, anyways, I'm going to be making more videos, so let me know what you want to hear. Uh, again, this has been Adam Hochstetter going through some of the presets on Lexicon's PCM92 reverb unit. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I should have more coming out soon. Thanks for watching.